Many millennia ago, ancient yogis developed techniques to alter their reality, as detailed in the seminal work The Yoga Sutras authored by Patanjali, also called Gadiya, or Gonikaputra. This scripture introduces the idea of CD, which refers to gaining mystical powers. Such powers enabled these yogis to perfect eight specific abilities, each remarkable in its scope and impact, Anima CID enables microscopic exploration of the universe, while Mahima CID expands presence to a near-universal scale. Lakama CDM acts a yogi featherlight and Jima City allows them to attain immense weight akin to a black hole's gravity. Purdy City enables the manifestation of desire from thin air. Ishida City allows control over the universe's creative and destructive energies. Vazit Vaidhi involves mastering fire, air, ether, earth, and water, and extends to mind control through hypnosis. Central to these abilities is the mastery of breath, particularly through the karate, which reflects the tortoise's ability to thrive both in water and on land. The pro process called samyama on the kur. Manati stabilizes both the mind and body complete. Control over breathing not only anchors the practitioner firmly in the mental and physical realms, but also enables them to draw specific events and scenarios into their existence, not only in the scripture but also some psychologists like Clayton Alifer also suggest at the core of Older's hierarchy is the fundamental need for survival. Basics like food, water, and a place to live Yet oxygen crucial for every breath is indeed the most vital. Without it, none of the other needs can be fulfilled or even matter in his ERG theory he mentions that every essential need for physical survival is at its base and ascends towards more complex needs like physiological and safety love and belonging, self-esteem and self-actualization. Breathing is the primary need, for example. It's futile to discuss feelings of love and belonging. If someone is shivering without a home, they require warmth, but even more fundamentally, they need air to breathe. This returns us to the very essence of life, breathing. Personal trials reveal that varying the pattern of breathing throughout T. He day can influence creativity significantly. The technique of alternating nostril breathing, for instance, can harmonize the brain's hemispheres, enhancing mental clarity and the flow of creative ideas. Now in this video, we delve deeper into deep breathing and the proper methods of breathing and the significant advantages they offer significance of nadi'i in breathing. According to ancient yogic teachings, our bodies are traversed by a vast network of 72,000 energy pathways known as nadi. These nadis are like rivers, carrying the life force energy. Pray, not throughout our physical and subtle bodies among. These nadis three stand out as particularly significant Ida Pingala and Sushumna. Ida Nadi This nadi runs along the left side of the spine. It is associated with the moon and represents the feminine cooling and nurturing energy. Ida influences our emotional and mental well-being when balanced. It promotes calmness, intuition, and creativity. Pingala Nadi, in contrast, Pingala flows down the right side of the spine. It resonates with the sun and embodies masculine heating and dynamic energy. Pingala Gover, as are physical attributes necessary for survival, including vitality, strength, and action, Sushumna Nadi. The central channel, Sushumna, is the most crucial. It runs from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. When awakened, it allows the ascent of Kundalini, the dormant spiritual energy coiled at the base of the spine, as Kundalini rises through Sushumna. It leads to spiritual enlightenment and union with the divine prana often referred to as the vital breath flows through all the nadis, including the kurma. Nad Kadi is specifically associated with day, etch the tortoise, symbolizing stability and grounding it lies in the chest region below the throat when prana flows harmoniously through kadi. It bridges the physical body to the spiritual realms.
This interaction highlights the intricate connection between our health and spiritual practices. Blockages in these energy pathways can manifest as physical ailments, emotional imbalances, or mental disturbances. Therefore, maintaining a balanced flow of prana through the nadis is essential for overall well-being by understanding and managing these energy channels. We can enhance not only our physical health, but also our mental clarity and spiritual growth. A holistic approach to living harmoniously. Why not give it a try? Now, now, as you see this video, start by closing your eyes and placing one hand on your stomach and the other on your lower back. Draw in a deep breath to expand your abdomen. This might feel a bit strange at first because it's a common yet shallow way to breathe that's often tied to heightened stress and anxiety hold for a second and slowly breathe out. The correct technique will show your abdomen. Rising with minimal chest movement, a sign of a relaxed nervous system and a boost in both mental focus and energy levels lying on your back is a perfect posture to check in with your breath. Repeat the same thing while you hear the whole video. I'm pretty sure you would notice a difference at the end of the video and comment how you felt at the end. Kundalini awakening with Sushumna for the Kundalini energy to ascend through the Sushumna channel, maintaining a balance between the Ida and Pingala channels is crucial these channels which intertwine. E around Sushumna also influence the respiratory process through their connections to the nostrils. Typically, one nostril is more dominant in the breathing process, alternating every one to two hours to maintain equilibrium in our subtle body. When the Ida channel is active, the left nostril dominates breathing, inducing a state of relaxation and calm. However, this can sometimes lead to feelings of lethargy or sadness. Conversely, when the Pingala channel is active and the right nostril leads it encourages energy and ambition, though it can, a ah, uh, also cause anxiety or disrupt sleep when breathing is balanced between both nostrils, facilitated by Sushumna, it leads to a state of dynamic peace and completeness, a rare and profound experience. Sushumna is the only channel that extends up to the highest energy center, the seventh chakra, Sahasrara. Here the divine feminine force, Shakti, which is the kundalini energy, lies dormant at the base of the spine in the Muladhara chakra through dedicated spiritual practices. This energy awakens and travels up through Sushumna, activating higher chakras and expandi, the spiritual consciousness as it reach, which is the Agna, or third eye chakra. It enhances intuition and transcends ordinary sensory experiences, ultimately culminating in the Sahasrara Chakra, where ultimate spiritual unity and enlightenment occur, symbolizing the union of Shiva and Shakti. Further exploration into these energy channels reveals their profound impact on both our physical and spiritual health. By learning to nurture and balance these energies, we can lead a life filled with harmony and fulfillment, continued practice and heightened awareness. Low us to harness these energies achieving new levels of spiritual enlightenment and physical health and uncovering the intricate interplay of energies within us, controlled breathing techniques known as pranayamas are instrumental in enhancing our health elevating our consciousness, and activating deeper spiritual energies like kundalini. The concept of vital energy, or prana, is also recognized in various cultures under different names. Qi in Chinese traditions, Qi in Japanese culture, and mana in Polynesian practices. Underscoring its global significance, P, Rana the life force that flows through us is intimately connected to our breath by engaging in deep intentional breathing. We can tap into this vital energy, revitalizing our physical bodies and deepening our connection to the spiritual realm. It is believed that without breath, life ceases and the spirit departs, the physical form to journey through higher realms, settling karmic debts through reincarnation, moreover activating the central channel Sushumna Nadi by balancing the energy channels on either side of the body can expedite the rise of... Kundalini energy reducing, producing the time. Needed to manifest one's desires. Future discussions will compare the unrestricted natural breathing of infants with the more constrained breathing patterns, often observed in adults advocating for a return to freer breathing techniques.
These methods not only clear energetic blockages, but also significantly enhance life quality highlighting. The crucial role of breathing in personal health, well-being, and mastery over life circumstances. Harnessing prana to elevate your life force, or prana start by S-E's. Amplifying your surroundings and eliminating unhealthy foods like processed snacks, canned goods, and bottled water. Instead, choose fresh whole foods drink from natural sources and enjoy the sunshine to significantly boost your energy levels. Prana is vital for life. And even water becomes more beneficial when infused with prana. You can re-energize water through a method called structuring, which enhances its essential qualities by mimicking natural water dynamics. Sunlight not only uplifts our spirits, but also helps maintain our circadian rhythm. As crucial for overall health, air is equally important, providing a constant flow of prana necessary for life. The sacred nature of prana connects all living beings by mastering breathing techniques. We can harness this powerful energy, rejuvenate our bodies, and elevate our minds techniques like pranayama, which involve controlled breathing exercises, can boost our prana and even awaken our kundalini energy, leading to spiritual enlightenment. Proper breathing is fundamental to maintaining physical health and mental clarity, enhancing spiritual VIT and empowering us to manifest our desires more. Effectively, every element around us is composed of energy and learning to control this energy. Through breathing can unlock profound creative potential by actively gathering prana and removing energy blockages. We raise our vibrational frequency, attracting similar energies, situations, and people, thereby improving our ability to positively influence our reality. Increasing your prana is crucial for achieving better focus and intense concentration, which are vital for leveraging the LW of Assumption SU. Guessing that the outcomes you desire are already unfolding with stronger prana, your visualization skills sharpen and become more effective, helping bridge the gap between dreams and their manifestation. As we practice these principles, we can delve deeper into energy manipulation, where subtle adjustments in daily habits can lead to profound changes in personal and spiritual development, bringing us closer to a state of harmony and abundant positivity. The Power of Deep Breathing Taking deep breaths that reach the lower parts of your lungs and see and greatly reduce stress and enhance your well-being. This method involves breathing deeply into your core, significantly benefit fighting your overall health. When you inhale deeply, your diaphragm tightens and moves downward, creating more space in your chest and allowing your lungs to fill with air. This action creates a vacuum that pulls air in as you exhale. The diaphragm relaxes and rises, helping to push the air out of your lungs. The diaphragm plays a crucial role in breathing and serves as a vital barrier between essential organs like the heart, lung, S and brain, brain above, and organs that contribute to long-term health, such as the liver, kidneys, and intestines below the organs below the diaphragm, are supported by the parasympathetic nervous system, which aids in digestion and detoxification, focusing on long-term health. This contrasts with the organs above the diaphragm, which the sympathetic nervous system activates during stressful situations. The position of the diaphragm underscores its role in balancing our immediate and long-term health needs. Quick, shallow breaths can keep us in a constant saint. Aid of stress, whereas diaphragmatic breathing promotes relaxation and enhances overall health and energy flow within the body. Breathing from the diaphragm helps move us away from stress-induced fight-or-flight responses, which can disrupt digestion and cause ongoing health issues. Use instead, this type of breathing encourages beneficial downward expansion. Massaging and supporting the abdominal organs, this improves digestion, boosts circulation, and strengthens the immune system by increasing oxygen flow and enhancing blood circulation diaphragm. Attic breathing is a simple yet powerful way to boost both physical and emotional health. Regular practice of diaphragmatic breathing can lead to significant changes in how your body manages energy and stress, 
Engaging in this breathing technique can retrain your body's response to stress, making you more resilient to daily pressures and improving your overall mood and productivity. This method not only optimizes your body's vital functions, but also supports a holistic approach to wellness, promoting a healthier, more relaxed state of being. Every day. Breath A. As a gateway regular deep breathing exercises can be. A powerful tool for enhancing mindfulness and reducing stress. By practicing these techniques, you can gain better control over your emotions and lessen the impact of tension in your life in yoga. There's a technique known as kumaka which involves slow controlled breathing. This method can greatly reduce the number of breaths you take each minute, leading to a more balanced and fulfilling daily routine. Observing and adjusting your breathing patterns throughout the day can significantly boost your ale, artiness and energy levels contributing positively to your overall well-being. Most people typically breathe around 14 to 18 times per minute. But with the right breathing techniques, this rate can be lowered. Reducing your breathing rate not only decreases your heart rate, but also enhances your energy levels. Rapid and irregular breathing often indicates a hectic lifestyle, suggesting either overactivity or lack of energy, both of which signal an imbalance and understanding. The difference between beneficial and harmful breathing patterns is crucial, as is. Learning how to use your diaphragm properly. Good posture plays a key role in this process. Modern habits such as is sitting in poorly designed chairs can cause neck and shoulder strain trapping emotional and physical stress in the body. In some cases, improving posture might require professional help, especially if there are spinal issues involved. However, simple stretches and alignment exercises, often influenced by music and yoga, can greatly improve posture. These practices highlight the importance of correct breathing and posture in promoting physical health and spiritual growth once you have mastered good posture and effective breathing techniques. The next step is to energize your spinal column by directing energy through your spine, similar to how electricity creates a magnetic field around a wire. You can activate your spinal column. This method allows prana or life energy to flow from the base of your spine to the crown of your head, connecting with your body's energy channels and tapping into the ambient free energy around you. This dynamic engagement can lead to profound changes in your over. All life experience enhancing your connection with the world, scrutinizing in detail into these practices, can open new pathways for energy exploration and personal growth, integrating these techniques into your daily life. Life not only improves your physical health, but also paves the way for a deeper spiritual awakening. This continuous journey of discovery reveals layers of health benefits and energetic synergies enriching your experience beyond the traditional realms of physical wellness. Nowadays, many people feel a sense of discon, nection often encountering negative emotions and situations rooted in deep-seated beliefs. This feeling of energy blockage is widespread and indicates that your energy body might not be working at its best to revive and rejuvenate your energy system, focus on removing blockages in the main energy channels. This method, simple yet powerful, can significantly enhance your energy flow and overall vitality unlocking. Vitality exploring the realm of energy channels reveals their profound impact on both our physical and mental well-being. By nurturing and... Balancing these energies, one can achieve a life of harmony and richness. Consistent practice and awareness of these energy channels can lead to enhanced spiritual enlightenment and better health, while also unraveling the intricate connections within our body's energy systems. A simple yet effective technique known as NAD Shodhana, or alternate nostril breathing, can help align and calm both the mind and body. This practice involves alternating the breath through each nostril to promote balance and serenity. Begin by sitting up straight and using your thumb and ring finger to close each nostril. Alternately start by inhaling through the left nostril for four seconds while closing the right nostril. Hold the breath for another four seconds. Then exhale through the left nostril for four seconds before pausing briefly.
Next, switch to the right nostril and repeat the same breathing pattern. Practicing this technique for three to five minutes daily can effectively harmonize the body's energy. Pathways, this method specifically targets the Ida and Pingala channels, enhancing the central channel Sushumna and Facilit, adding a more dynamic flow of prana or vital energy. This is essential for the potential awakening of K. Lini energy. Another breathing technique to boost this process involves taking a deep breath for eight seconds, starting from the abdomen and moving up to the chest. While holding your breath, visualize prana traveling from the base of your spine to your third eye at your forehead. Focus on this spot while holding the breath, then imagine the energy descending to your heart as you exhale filling you with joy and Kant contentment, incorporating this full why. Ogic breath technique allows for setting personal goals, such as clearing energy blockages in the chakras or encouraging the rise of kundalini pairing. This exercise with positive affirmations can enhance its effects. For example, as you inhale, silently. Repeat, I love myself several times. Focus on the third eye while holding the breath. Then direct the energy to your heart as you exhale, reinforcing your positive intentions. This approach not only strengthens your connection to your higher self, but also magnifies the power of your intentions, dedicating about five minutes several times a day to this. Breathing exercise followed by meditation can significantly transform your overall health and deepen your spiritual bonds. The key is to remain consistent and focused in your practice. Harnessing the profound power of breath to elevate your life experiences, integrating these practices into your daily routine, not only enhances your energy flow, but also promotes a healthier, more cohesive sense of self, paving the way for spiritual growth and physical vitality.